Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm coming to you really quickly with a quick, very short Dollar Tree haul. I did go to a different Dollar Tree today and I found a couple of things. Didn't find things that I had on my wish list, but I found a few things. So I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it because I don't know how much memory I have left. Um, first, I got some milk, some soy milk. I always get this West soy milk. Um, it tastes just like silk, if not even better. And for a buck, yes, you can't beat it. Um, this expires October the 1st of 2017, which is, I'm sorry, October 31st of 2017, which is um, next year. Um, or not next year, but next October. That is one thing I do like about these soy milks is that they have a long expiry, long shelf life. Um, you can keep them, you don't have to keep them cold. You can keep them in your pantry. Um, and then, you know, from there, they have a long shelf life. So I got that. Um, just want to mention something. A while back, I, well, I don't know if you guys watch her. Her name is Sassy Sally, and she does a lot of food pantry hauls. But she does Dollar Tree hauls and, you know, the like... Um, but she was saying that every time she gets these type of things, I think it was soy milk. I don't know what it was, but she said that, uh, when she opened it, it looked like somebody had ripped off the seal, the protective seal. Well, I don't know if you guys know this. When you open it, it automatically tears the protective seal for you so that you don't have to sit there and poke at it. So I, you know, just FYI, you know. If in case you've wondered the same, it's not that it's already open. It's just that when you open it, it automatically opens it for you. So just wanted to throw that out there. So I got that. I got more of this creamy cocoa butter um, petroleum jelly. I absolutely love this stuff. This has done wonders for my feet. Um, I like to walk around barefoot unless it's, you know, some type of below zero outside. I will walk around barefoot. I know that's bad. I mean, I will go outside and walk on the concrete and the grass and the leaves. I know that's bad. It's very bad. I, I get it. But I'm just not comfortable wearing shoes. It, you know, if I can wear flip-flops all year long, I, I will. And so, I mean, it, it really does a number on my feet. So this, however, really, really, you know, gets them back into shape and it leaves them so soft. I just love this. I was so impressed by it. So I am going through these like crazy. So I bought another one. Um, I found a new body wash. This is avocado and iris scented. This is by uh, Dollar Tree. This is from Greenbrier. Um, I saw it somewhere back here. Yeah, it's manufactured by Greenbrier. It smells really, really nice. So I thought I'd give that a try. I got some more uh, soap for Henry. I got some feminine wash. And then I found these uh, uh, TIGI Pro. This is the Shine Balm. Now, it says that you put it on after you take a shower. You put it on damp hair. And then it's supposed to... Um, help with like frizz and flyaways as opposed to um you know leave your hair really shiny and slick and s sleek um and then you can also put it on top of your hair on dry hair after you've straightened it or blow dried it or whatever and it's supposed to control um the shine or whatever i don't think i've ever heard of these products um they had this and they has they also had the shine spray but it said it was a shine hold spray so I didn't want to get it and it'd be sticky like hairspray so I passed on that but I did get this it smells really really nice I like the way it smells so um and this is uh, 3.04 fluid ounces so it's a lot of product for a dollar so I figured I'd try that I haven't looked it up on um online that's normally what I do when I'm not sure so um I didn't do that yet but I do plan on doing that I should have done that first but I didn't so I'm gonna do that here in a minute just to see what it normally retails for because I, I personally have never heard of that product okay moving on I found some more books <laughs> you know most women or most girls <laughs> females hide clothes and shoes and makeup that they have tons of already from their husbands I hide books 
I have probably now hundreds of books. I have about 20, 25 on my to be read list. And I, you know, obviously I, I keep the ones that I've already read. So when I buy more books, my husband doesn't get mad. Don't get me wrong. He doesn't, he, he really just doesn't, he's so laid back and he's not, he's not that type. But I do feel guilty because he is the primary breadwinner. His, you know, salary does pay our bills. So I do feel bad. Even though they're only a dollar, I feel bad when I, you know, buy something that I already have tons of. I already have so many that I that need to be read. So I don't need any more. But they're a buck. They're a buck. And I love to read in yeah, I just couldn't pass them up. Plus, I saw some on our good friend, uh, Melissa P581. I think that's her channel. Um, I saw some on her uh, Dollar Tree hauls that I wanted. And she lives in uh, the same city as me. So I went to her Dollar Tree um, and found the book that I wanted that she hauled the other day. So, yeah, I couldn't resist. I found three more books. This one is called The Perfect Mother. It's by Nina Darnton, and it says, author of An, an African Affair. Um, it says, this haunting page turner will keep you up all night and be long remembered after the last page has been read. Now, that's what caught my eye. This is the uh, little blurb here, blurb, blurb. Um, so you guys can read it. This normally retails for $16. Obviously, I got it for a buck, so you can't beat that. So I got that. I got this one. This is Electric uh, Beach by Joe Hilly. It says it's a Mike Connolly mystery, so I don't know what that means. Um, here's the little blurb here. It says 50-something uh, attorney Mike Connolly's whole way of life is threatened when he agrees to represent Perry Braxton. As Connolly follows a string of clues in this nasty murder case, he's led to a phony tanning salon where he's drawn deeper and deeper into the dark underworld of prostitution, prostitution and pornography. Will these negative forces jeopardize the new life he's worked so hard to build? Surrounded by deception, will Connolly recognize what's happening before it's too late for everyone involved? So I thought that was uh, a nice little read doesn't say what it normally retails for, but I'm pretty sure it's not a dollar. So I got that one. And then this one is the one that I saw on Melissa's page. This is called uh, Burial Rights, and it's by Hannah Kent. And it says it's a winner of the Pulitzer Prize, so it has to be pretty good. So this is Burial Rights. Okay, so this one, it says... Hold on. Uh, charged with the brutal murder of two men, Agnes Magnestator Magnestator has been removed to has been removed to her has homeland's farthest reaches to an isolated farm in northern Iceland to await execution. Horrified at the prospect of housing a convicted murderer, the family on the farm avoids Agnes. Her arrival threatens the peaceful rhythm of their way of life. While her stoic approach to the daily chores is an unsettling contrast to the passion that, rumor has it, drove her to kill. Disturbing proof for them of the dangers that can lurk beneath a placid surface. So I'm not going to read the rest of this because it's so super long and I don't want my camera to run out of room. But I'll let you guys read that. So when uh, Melissa read it, it sounded like a really, really nice read. So I was definitely on the hunt for it. Um, and I, I love when she hauls books because she doesn't just like show you the blurb where you can pause it and read it yourself she actually she actually reads it for you and she kind of gives you like a mini review without her even reading it so i love that about her when she hauls books so thank you melissa for doing that i myself am too lazy again that's one of the reasons another reason is i don't ever know how much memory my cat or my phone has so i don't want to waste time but again this is uh burial rights by hannah kent so that is it, you guys. That is it for my Dollar Tree haul. I am really hoping that I can bring you guys something exciting except this these little pathetic Dollar Tree hauls that I've been bringing because let me tell you, I took a lot of time off during the holidays and now that I'm back, I just want to find something really, really, really exciting and I have yet to do that and I see all these people hauling such great things 
and I have so many things on my wish list and I have not found any so hopefully I will you know get back into my routine and I can find some exciting things to show you guys um, until my next video thank you so much for watching I will see you guys next time bye bye